this is a calling to me. This is a beautiful journey to me. This is this is what I dreamt of. This is what I I I, I, I told the Lord I wanted, and He gave it to me. The reason He gave it to me because He trusts me. I would advise you to be that role model for your child, for your friend, for your homies, for that person that looks up to you and looks out for you. I wanted to end this thing. Going to San Francisco really wasn't my initial desire. It was something that I needed to do, but it wasn't my desire. Prime time and his 10 rules of greatness. Otherwise, Deion Sanders. I'm a father simultaneously. How can I get upset with anything that's transpiring when now I'm not only coaching, but I'm fathering and not just mine. I'm fathering a multitude of kids that I adore. That I, This ain't work to me. This is a calling to me. This is a beautiful journey to me. This is, this is what I dreamt of. This is what I, 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 I told the Lord I wanted. And he gave it to me. The reason he gave it to me? Because he trusts me. He trusts that when you allow me to do my thing and to walk in my anointing with all the, the thoughts and the visuals and the, the, the expertise and the knowledge and the wisdom that you gave me. Now, if you went for that, if you was, were able to let words run you off, you ain't for us because we're old school staff. We coach hard. We coach tough. We're disciplined. Marians. So if you're allowing verbiage to run you off because you don't feel secure with your ability, you ain't for us. I don't care. Look at me. What about me would make you think that I care about your opinion of me? Your opinion of me is not the opinion that I have of myself. You ain't make me so you can't break me. You didn't build me so you can't kill me. I, I, you know what? God, God established me. So you ain't nothing you can do to me. I, I've been dealing with this foolishness since Pee Wee football, man. I've been him. I've been a difference maker, a game changer. I've been that guy. So what will change now that I'm coaching? Not a darn thing. I'm not even playing the game, and you got an opinion of me. I don't care. Work. Work is a word you must identify with because regardless of what your hands find to do, you're going to have to put in some work. That's only if you want to make a difference, be a difference, and live different than any of your friends or family members. See, I came from a generation of work. Most of your coaches along the wall came from a generation of work. When we wanted things, we had to go get the lawnmower and go knock on doors around the neighborhood and work. We had to ask him we pick up cans of trash in someone's yard. We had to work because we wanted things. Our parents and family members supplied our needs, but the things that we wanted, we had to work for them. Everyone's not used to success. Um, the guys that came over with me from Jackson and some of the coaches that have been coaching with me for over 20 years from youth all the way up, we understand this. We expect this. We, we truly believe. We don't just wear the shirts. We truly believe. Mm. So getting everybody on the right page to understand that this is real, this is authentic. And when you work your butt off and you study and prepare, these are the results that you can have. Yeah. But we just want not only the, the team, but we want everybody in the country to start believing in themselves if you don't believe in nobody else. Structure and discipline. When you go into the NFL, all the things that I'm teaching them are mandated. I'm preparing them for the next level. So if they come and matriculate and they go to UPS, you think they can wear any uniform they want, how they want it? Hmm? You? If you're on Wall Street, you think you can just fall into the office and walk in there any way you want? No, it's structure and rules to this thing. I would advise you to be that role model for your child, for your friend for your homies, for that person that looks up to you and looks out for you. You need to be that person. The role model should be somebody you can touch. My mama was my role model, man. My, my mama was that. My mama was all that in a bag of chips and would cuss you out to this day and not stumble over a word. My mama worked 
and made sure Ann saw one another, although they never met. My mother, even when I made it, she never asked for mink coats and, and gold chains and diamonds, although I got that for her. She's on her third home now, never asked for one. It's not far-fetched to understand why I'm coaching right now, because I have an affinity for kids in trying to progress them to be professionals, not just professional football players, but professionals, period. I wish the day that the draft was held, the next day we had a, a corporation and a Fortune 500 draft. Because see, I want my kids to be out there. Not just my biological kids, but my kids that play for me at Jackson State. We got 97% of these kids that are not going pro. What's gonna happen to them? I need them to make a difference in life. I need them to be somebody. I need them to go in and enhance their communities. I need them to make a change somewhere in life and to be great fathers and to be great parents and to be great kids. That's the mindset that I have for my youngsters. When we grew up, the drug dealers were the guys. The rappers were the guys. What did they have? The gold chains, the flamboyant look, the flash, the whips. I gave the kids that, allowing them to know you didn't have to do that. So it was all persona and perception and, and, and you had to believe what you want to believe. Now let me tell you the truth of the matter. I stopped using profanity in 1986. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not done with telling you about prime. I'm in the third person now. I've never been high a day of my life. Hold on, I'm not done. I've never smoked or drink, sip a taste of alcohol, wine, or anything in my entire life. Oftentimes when coaches recruit, the recruits come in and the, the recruits are interviewing the coaches. Mm -hmm. We're interviewing the recruits to make sure you have the tangibles. Smart, tough, fast, disciplined, with character. But not only that, that you love the game. You got an infinity and a passion for the game. You got something about that game. I, know, I need to know your why. Is it your mama, who's working nine to five all her life? Is it your father, who's on drugs that you're trying to get out of? Is it, is it a great household who you had wealth, but you want to continue the legacy? We got to find that intangible, that why we identify those kids and we bring them here. Growing up, Deion Sanders was one of the most amazing players to watch play football, baseball, you name it. His speed, his enthusiasm, his charisma was something that just drew people to him. Check out his behaviors and hopefully you can adapt some for yourself and change and transform your life. Here's to prime time and all his success. Take care.